Hello everyone, welcome to Joy Road. In this video, we learn about Azure Backup. So before moving to the video, let me request you all, please subscribe if you are watching this channel for the first time. And if you have any suggestions or questions, please mark it in the comment section. All right, so let's get into the video. In a production environment, if you intend to use a virtual machine in a production purpose or some important purpose, it is obviously a bad idea to not to have a regular backup. There are a couple of ways to set up the backup. First one, while creating the VM, you can enable the backup. So let us see that first. So here, uh, I am trying to create a virtual machine. I have provided all the basic details and move to the disk disk details is provide networking management so under management menu if you come down here you have an option to backup enable backup to guard your virtual machine against accident deletion and corruption we recommend that you configure backup on this virtual machine so here you can enable the backup if you tick mark you get uh, all all these details like it itself create a recovery service vault and we have standard and enhanced options you could see standard option is disabled here it is because as we have selected security type as trusted launch virtual machine we could not select the basic the standard one we could not select the policy subtype as standard we have to go with enhanced so this is the first way where we can enable the backup so the second method is post creation of an vm we have already created a vm now post creating of the vm in the left hand blade if you come down we have an option here like backup and disaster recovery let me click on this backup here also you can enable the backup we have to create a recovery service vault recovery service vault holds a backup copies and you can monitor backup using vault Backup Vault is a special type of storage account that contains virtual hard disk. So we can either create a new uh, Backup Vault or you can use the existing one. We do have an existing Backup Vault. So I'm going to create a new one here and you have to, you can give any name or you can go with the suggested name by Azure. It suggests the resource group. If you want to change the resource group, you can change it and policy type we have to here to enhance and standard again standard is disabled here because uh, as this particular machine belongs to trusted launch Azure vm we can use only enhanced policy type and full backup every four hours start at starting at 8 am uh, instant restore retain instant recovery snapshot for seven days Retain backup taken every day for 30 days. These are the default setup. If you want to make any changes, you can do that. You can edit this policy and you can make the changes here. So, this is the second method of creating the backup. Now, let's learn about the third method of taking the backup. Instead of taking the backup for one particular machine, let's learn how we can take the backup for uh, multiple machines or for the entire organization or for the entire region. So to do that, we should create a reserve, uh, recovery service vault. So if you uh, go home and uh, you can search it or uh, in, in my case, it's already available here in the Azure services. So I'm selecting the recovery service vault from here. And you could see I have uh, created two uh, service recovery vault, recovery service vault. So let me create a new one. I'm clicking on create button. It is asking me for the subscription and resource group. I'm adding it to the existing resource group. And we have to give a vault name here. Vault name I provide it as AC Backup Lab 1 or uh, okay, 1. Region. <coughs> region should be the same of your uh, virtual machines region. So I keep it as West Europe. Redundancy uh, by default it will be geo redundant. You can keep it either zone redundant or locally redundant. In a <coughs> production environment, it is good to keep geo redundant as it is a lab environment. To say uh, to save the cost, I keep it as locally redundant. Next encryption. 
and wall properties you can if you want to enable the immutability you can enable it uh, then goes to the networking allow public access from all network uh, in the pub in in a production environment this is not a recommended option it is always deny public access and allow private access and you have to uh, provide the proper virtual network here the net here but as it is a lab environment i don't want to uh, create any uh, i don't want to attach any uh, private vnet i'm providing public access from all network but i want you please don't use allow public access from all the networks in a production environment then comes to tags and review and create it all right so it may take few minutes to complete this action. So let's wait for that. All right, our recovery service vault has been created. Now let's click on go to resources. So this is the particular recovery service vault and we have an overview here. If you come down here, you have an option to backup. You can mention where is your workload running, either in Azure, you have an option to run it in Azure Stack Hub, Stack AC, and on-premise. So on-premise, we will learn it in the uh, another video. This is only for workloading and running in Azure. And what do you want to take backup, either the virtual machines or the Azure file share or the SQL server in Azure VM or SAP HANA in Azure, VM so you can select accordingly so we here we are going to backup our virtual machine before they were doing this let's create a backup policy so under manage tab we have backup policy let me click on that and here you could see the policies that has been created by default and created by me let me create a new policy backup policy let me click on add so you can create a policy according to your uh, requirement, according to your organization requirements. Let me click on Azure Virtual Machine Policy Type. Here we have two options like Enhanced and Standard. It is always good to go with Enhanced option. And you have to provide a name for the policy name. I give the name as um, Azure Backup lab one all right so how you want to schedule your backup hourly or on the daily basis or on the weekly basis i do it for the daily basis at what time you want to schedule it i provide it at um, 2030 and here you can set the time zone you can set your time zone according to your region i keep it as default and here you have that by default instant restore retain instant recovery snapshot for seven days or you can the values between 1 to 30 you can provide it here all right so and retention policy uh, backup point uh, for a by default it is 180 days you can change it accordingly and here you have an option to retention of weekly backup point you can mention it here and retention for the monthly backup point is here and retention for the yearly backup point also you could see here uh, you can mention it according to your organization requirements so you can plan it before uh, creating this policy all right so let me i have given only the basic details and uh, created i'm going to create a policy so instead of daily, let me keep hourly backup. And uh, every four hours, every six hours, every eight hours. So I keep uh, this as eight hours. Again, what I say here, you will have to uh, check with your team. With your, uh, when it comes to a production environment, you'll have to sit with a pen and paper, collect uh, all the details from the consent team, and you have to plan it and create the policy as is a, as it is a lab environment i give it without giving much importance all right let me create one
So it is initialized and deployment is in progress. Okay, deployment succeeded. So now we go to the resources. So if you go to the backup policies, you could see the policy that we have created just now, which is Azure Backup Lab 1 and the policy subtype is enhanced and policy for the Azure Virtual Mission. All right. And here under backup, if you go to the backup items, now there is no backup as of now. Now we are going to enable the backup. So under getting started, we have something called a backup. Let me click on that. Configure the backup. Let me click on backup. So I'm configuring the backup for enhanced and it has taken the backup policy, which is uh, just created now. So this is the one which we created. So I have selected that. So whatever uh, we have mentioned in this particular policy as taken here every eight hours starting 8.30 p.m. And all the details we have provided for this policy is uh, highlighted here. Now we have to add the virtual machine. So let me click on add. And I do have three virtual machines. I'm going to take backup of this third one in tune on prim. All right, click OK. So it is validation is in progress and enable backup. So initializing the deployment. It may take some time. Let's wait. All right, the deployment is complete. Now go to resources. Now, if you go to the backup items, you could see. Uh, one Azure virtual mission is under backup. Let me click on Azure virtual mission and it provides the details here. Like uh, backup pre-check is paused and the last backup status, status is warning in an initial backup is pending. Here, if you want to initiate the backup now, you can click on backup now. So what it does, it, it will initiate a backup now. So I'm going to initiate a backup now instead of waiting till 10.30 uh, p.m. Retain the backup till 7, uh, 16, 7, so one month. That's what it shows. So click me OK. Triggering the backup for Intune on-prem. So the backup is initiating. Now if you check under backup jobs, you could see the backup is in progress. So it may take some time to get completed. So the remaining part we will see in the next video, how we can restore the VM and more about the backup. Goodbye for the time being. We will meet you in the other video.